Hola. Hola. Bienvenidos a Lightspeed Spanish. Bienvenidos. This, uh, qué fuerte tu voz. Así. ¿Ah, Bien. Bienvenidos. Tú, tú podías trabajar como en... Bueno, antes, ¿sabes? Cuando la gente iba por la calle diciendo... Con la, con la Son campana. las 12 de la noche y todo está bien, ¿no? Bienvenido. Dando las noticias, ¿no? De, sí. Del día. Sí. Para, para el pueblo. Eh, ok, this is Beginners 52 and we are dealing with a suggestion from Richard Kitapa. Hola, Richard. Hola, Richard. And Richard wants us to talk wow. about the expression... Se trata de and trata de. Okay. So, okay. we'll deal with that in the next bit. See you in the next bit. So, Richard's saying, I constantly see se trata de. I have obviously put it through Google Translate, which is a lot better these days, yes? Uh, which comes don't back as, it, it is about. Okay? It is about. I don't know why, but it doesn't sit right with me. <laughs> like that. I, uh, I also don't hear this in spoken Spanish. Clearly, I don't want to waste you and your listeners' time by making an entire video on this, but every time I read it, my mind goes into overdrive. Maybe I'm just weird. <laughs> no. No, no. no. The way we said it at the same time. <laughs> We're not reading a script. Okay, so okay. there are two things. Richard has written se trata de, but you're also going to say trata de. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. And what we want to do is we want to identify the two. The two. Both of them really are it's about. Um, sometimes, sometimes not. Mm-hmm. For example, give me an example. Tratar de can also mean to try. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, it's a different thing. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. trata de trata de hacerlo mejor, o intenta hacerlo mejor. So that means try. Try to do it better. Try to do it better. Okay. So you could use tratar de in infinitive, o intentar an infinitive. Okay. okay, so beautiful. In that case, so what we're going to do though, I want to take that bit because that's slightly different to what we're going to talk about, and I want to put it there. Okay, but bear that in mind. So it can be to try. And then another exception to that, uh -huh. eh, tratarse. So the reflexive form tratarse de eh, in English sometimes eh, is translated just as to be. For example. For example, um, I don't know. For example, the police. Um, who is the the um, victim? Who's mm -hmm. the victim? And then the police officer would say, "Se trata de un hombre blanco de 50 años." Ah, okay, yeah, yeah. It's a 50-year-old male, a 50-year-old white male. Okay, so you would in English you would say, "It's." It. And we would say in that case, "Se trata." Okay. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So, okay. You wouldn't have translation, so no, I don't know if you would have a way to say that instead of just to be. So, that those would be the two main exceptions that sometimes okay. tratar de is to try and tratarse de is to be. To be. Okay? So, Cynthia's put that one over <laughs> there and I put this one over there. So, what we're going to talk about is, is when we want to say it's about. Okay. So, let's. Let's just explain. It's a, it, this isn't complicated, but it can be if you allow it. <laughs> okay? So we mustn't allow it to get complicated because this is beginners. And so we're going to explain some scenarios. Se trata de... When somebody asks, de qué se trata? They're saying, what is the problem about? What is the? What are we talking about here? What's going on? Okay, de qué se trata? So, Cynthia, for example, in our conversation that we just had before about this, said in a, a doctor might ask you that. Yeah? yeah, for example, if you go to the doctors and you say, Tengo un problema, doctor. And the doctor, for example, would say, De qué se trata? De qué se trata? Mm -hmm. Su problema. Yeah? yeah. And then the answer could be, Se trata de, de mi problema de, de hígado. 
Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's like a very mm, basic concise, answer. Concise like, answer. Um, ¿Qué ocurre? Eh, ¿Qué pasa? And then I could say, oh, se trata de, de María. It's about María. Yeah. What happened? It's about María. Okay, se trata de María. So what you're not, yeah. with, with de qué se trata, se trata de, you're not talking, for example, like a book. Say, what's the book about? Oh, it's about this, that, and the other. No, no. It's like, there's an issue, or there's something. What's it about? Yeah. So that, it's like, you don't to, know to the what point. it's about. Yeah. 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 It's, 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 or it also could be, what's the, not what's the point, but, um, for example. What's the theme, for example? Yeah, what's the theme? But, for example, I could say, um, a ver, este juego, ¿de qué se trata? Mm -hmm. Se trata de, de que, no sé, complete, se trata de que termines eh, 12 partes en 10 minutos. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So it's about you, the point is that you have to do this. That's, That's the, the summary of yeah. the, the very... So it's a it, good, Se good word de completar. Se trata de is talking about the point of this. The, what's the point of it? Yes. Well, the point is it's, it's, like a, a, it's a Maria. I've got something to talk about Maria. Or the point is this pain I've got. Or the point is that's exactly. how we're doing this game. Yeah? yeah. Se trata de. But when you want an explanation, tell me what the book's about. You, can, you say, yeah. eh, y, y de qué trata el libro? Yeah, de qué trata el libro? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now somebody when another little trick that Cynthia just uh, brought reminded me of is if somebody says de qué se trata, you're going to answer se trata de, okay? And if somebody says de qué trata el libro, you're going to say trata de, okay? Yeah. So copy what they say, take your their lead. But when you say trata de, somebody's expecting a nice long explanation. Trata de un hombre que vive en el, yeah. la jungla y que, que no tiene ropa y su yeah. novia se llama... Um, It's a typical question you would ask uh, about a film or a book or a series or, yeah. or a conversation. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. So a nice way of, of maybe putting it into, into order is when somebody says de qué se trata, they're saying what's up, right? What's up? What's going on? Okay, what's, what's it about? Yeah? At it, like... What's up? The doc you got the doctors to kiss it, Rata. What's up? Yeah? Or what happened? What's the what problem? What happened? What's the problem? Yeah? Um, yeah. Whereas. What's it about? Not what well, no, no, what's it about? Because no, that, what's it about? Know. Then is liberty. <laughs> that would be different. De que trata is. De que trata. Tell me, tell me about it. Now, now. tell me. Now, okay. tell me the whole story. Explayate. Yeah? yeah? That would be the. For example, would this work? Somebody comes up to you and says, Tengo algo que contarte. And you say, ¿De qué se trata? Se trata de un libro. Exactly. Ah, ¿De qué trata el libro? Exactly. Well, yeah? Yeah. So, so you come up and somebody says to you, well, What's wrong? I've got something to tell you. What's up? Oh, it's, it's about a book. What's the book about? Yeah. Yeah? So the first one is just give me just a, a one word, two words, a general little bit about... ¿De qué se trata? Yeah. Tratar is more like a story you're going to tell about yes. something, yeah? And yeah. tratarse is more specific. Or, for example, another one we use a lot. Um, um, what scenario can I, can I say? I um, don't know. You want to play a, a joke or a trick on somebody. Cindy does that a lot. For example. And you would say to me, but if we do that... Uh, he's going to get a shock. And then I'd say, well, that's the point of it. Okay? And then I would say, de eso se trata. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. That's a very common one. De eso se trata. And mm -hmm. that's the whole point of the trick. Yeah. That's what it's all about. That's what it's about. I, that's, that's what it's all about. <laughs> that's what I said to you to be about. But then I thought, I won't say that because it looks like a longer explanation. Yeah, but when we say, but that's what it's all about, is that's the succinct, concise that's the point. meaning. Yeah. That's the point of it. Yeah. yeah, and that's why when you're doing the hokey cokey from now on, on the last bit when you shout, and that's what it's all about, now you've got to start shouting, y de eso se trata. Y de eso se trata. <laughs> y de eso se trata is a very... 
very used sentence. Yeah? Okay, absolutely, yeah. And so, me... ¿de qué trata la película? ¿De qué trata el libro? ¿De qué trata la serie? ¿De qué trata la historia? ¿De qué trata...? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, you use that when you, you want... Uh, I don't want to say in depth, but longer explanation, like tell me what is that about? Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to say what is that about because it doesn't, could be anything sure, in English, yeah. could be, yeah. tell me more about the story, <laughs> tell, tell me, me more about the story, more about the situation. A summary, give me a good, yeah. good summary of the, yeah. of, the, of the story, yeah? Um, so, and tratarse mm -hmm. would be more to the point, okay? Yeah. It's this, it's more, it's more, tends to be Of course, there'll be exceptions. And people will Because use it in different... Because for sure, there'll be someone that says, oh, but in this case, you could use both. Yeah, yeah there will be yeah, yeah. exceptions. But it's typically more to the point. So for you as beginners, the, remember that there are, there's a core to Spanish, 80%, 90% core, and then there's a periphery of exceptions. You're going to focus on the core. This is what you do. If yeah. somebody says to you, de qué se trata... You say, se trata de. Yeah. Overview. If somebody says, de qué trata, you say, trata de. Mm -hmm. Explanation. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Nice and simple. And that's a good way of starting. And then you'll hear, you'll hear it being used. And uh, Richard said that he hasn't heard it being used, but it's used a lot. Eh? What, what hasn't he heard? That expression, se Which trata one? de. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We use it a lot, yeah? So yeah. Se trata de. Se trata de, yeah. De qué se trata? Uh-huh. Se trata de... Mm -hmm. Okay, so there you are. So yes, it is a very common thing. It is used and you just need to know it's about. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Muy bien, perdón. And no! <laughs> oh, you're Irish now. Yeah. Irish, not Nylon. <laughs> no, a word from our sponsors. <laughs> They're going to get offended one day. No, I love the Northern Ireland accent. Yeah, you may love them. But they might get offended by be. my accent. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Once when I was learning hypnosis, uh, I was on a course and there was a, a, a girl there, Paula, uh, um, and she was from Northern Ireland. And she did a hypnotic induction with me. Man, oh my God. it was so powerful. It was so, because it annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> it was excellent. I was thinking, Whoa. absolutely. I'm Am I in a Geordie? Did Jody do an induction for you? I don't need to imagine Jody. I've, uh, there were tons of Jodies <laughs> like on the course. Of, like a, a full-on Jody, Jody, like the, from, from Newcastle. There are some, there are some um, accents that work in hypnosis and some that don't. Yeah. Jody's quite good because it's very deep and guttural. You know, so nice. now I want you to relax yourself. <laughs> okay? But I want you to relax, the, one, right? the accents where people are saying... All right, then, now, I want you to relax yourself, <laughs> all right? That really doesn't work in hypnosis. What it, accent is that? I don't know, but it's when, it's when the accent comes up through the nose. I think it's more the voice, yeah. more than the accent, yeah? Just relax! Yeah. <laughs> doesn't work. It's got to come from the diaphragm, by the way. If you just, if you know, the diaphragm is where <laughs> not, hypnosis... Not from the nose, yeah? Not, not from the nose. Now, you're not going to get anyone to hypnosis like that. Okay, so... um. Word from our sponsors, yeah? Okay. Cynthia and I have spent a long time building up, and with lots of help from other people, building up a website. And in that website, and on that website, I don't know whether in or on, what do you think, Cynthia? Uh, on that website. On that say. website, well done. On that <laughs> website... It was a 50-50 <laughs> But much, I would say... Much that. easier to say <laughs> Y en esa página. En esa página. En esa página. Ok. You don't have to worry about it in, in Spanish. On that page, there are endless resources. More than, more than you probably know. Uh, because we've got our store. If you go down the store, there are all kinds of things. We've got the books there. We've got Cynthia's um, book courses. Reading books together. Um, we've got help sheets that go with all of these video casts that we do but the older range um so we've got a lot of stuff in there then if you go to uh video casts and all episodes we've got all of the video casts that we've ever done since the beginning but not just video casts we've got other stuff like like the el aula 
we've got loads of stuff we've got stuff on subjunctive um tremendous amount of resources all there i think people get a little bit overwhelmed with our website because there's such a lot on there okay there <laughs> yeah, is such yeah, a lot on yeah, there so. because we've been building it for so long and we've tried to make it as simple as possible mm -hmm. but take some time to look around there are tons of resources and there are tons of free resources as well okay so have a look around but bear in mind as well that not every video that we have done is on the website so also you can go to youtube and look in our playlists because we have how many videos on youtube now over a thousand videos now thousand videos okay there's an tremendous amount of content cynthia's insights gordon's diaries then all kinds of stuff that we put up there yeah so wow yeah we've spent a long time doing it so make the most of it and loads of it's free okay so enjoy muy bien muy bien gordo pues eso es todo <laughs> y ahora nos vamos y nos vemos y acordaios oh. <laughs> no joder acordaios acordaios es, 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 es portugués <laughs> gallego el tío acordaos acordaios <laughs> Portugués, pero mal, ¿eh? Sí. No, ni, ni siquiera bien. Sí, 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 sí. De eso se trata. De eso se trata. And what if the hokey cokey was what it was all about? Thought this. Put your left one in and... Left one? Left arm. Oh, leg. left arm and left leg. Put it out. Uh, Put it back in. Shake it all about. Do the hokey cokey. And then you turn around. Hokey cokey or hokey pokey? Hokey cokey. Hokey yeah. pokey okay. in the United States. <laughs> hokey cokey <laughs> in the UK. <laughs> Just be careful, all right? Don't be messing around oh with the hokey God. cokey. <laughs> I've heard both. I know. Yeah, the, Amer <laughs> the Americans The Americans have their the versions. Americans. <laughs> the Americans have their... It's, we're divided. We're divided. One language divided. We are... Pokey, hokey, cokey. <laughs> There's just no control. Entonces, chicos, hasta oh, luego. Adiós.